Today, we are going to count down the best rides at Carolina Harbour. So starting off our video with a classic wave pool, we have got Tidal Wave. And whilst fortunately, or unfortunately, you will not be experiencing a tidal wave, what you will be experiencing though is two things. One, zero queues. So unlike the majority of sides, where you'll be experiencing so many thrills, you will not have to wait a single second. So you can jump in that water and bob around to those waves as much as you like. And two, you can actually swim. And I know it's weird to think about, but at the majority of rides at this park, or to be honest, most water parks in general, you can experience those thrills, but you can very rarely just sit in some water, splash around with your friends, and just enjoy the swim. Even so, if you're not visiting Carolina Harbour just to have a swim, but instead experience many family fun moments on some water sides, well then look no further than our next side, Hurricane Falls. And I do think they exaggerate the names just a little bit, but this still provides the thrills, with once you're boarded your dinghy with up to three other people, which is quite awesome, as you can share those reactions as you make your way down the layout, twisting, turning, dropping, and all of that stuff that we love before the final splashdown. Just make sure not to scream, as especially on this side, everybody can see your reactions. Okay, we've had the classic, we've had the fun, what are we missing? Oh yes, the thrills, and our next attraction, Storm Surge, will most definitely provide that. Especially if you're scared of the dark. Because as you can probably guess, once you have grabbed your dinghy, and then made it up those miles of stairs, I mean, you can't have a water park without them, you will get the choice out of four sides. And according to the website, two different experiences. But from what I can see, or not be able to see, with you doing the entire thing, incomplete and utter darkness, you will be racing down so many turns at some crazy speeds, and with it being completely and utterly dark, you will not know when those turns, drops or airtime heels will be coming. How awesome, but also absolutely petrifying is that? Who here is feeling competitive? Well, if you said yes, then we have a side for you. This is Boogie Board Racer. And despite it sounding really good fun, there is no time to boogie, it is a racer side. And one of the best it seems like, because normally on racer sides, you may get the quantity of people or the fun of the loud, whereas on this one, you will get the extreme fun of racing down those twists and turns, down the drops, round the shoes, and the awesome open areas where you can wave to one another or do those angry fists. However, what makes it even more awesome, amongst being able to go on your front, I mean, when can you do that, is that you can race up to five other people to find out truly who is the Boogie Board Champion. Ahoy there, mi hearties, and welcome to our next attraction, Black Beer's Revenge, which, unlike my horrendous pirate accent, you will be falling in love with, quite literally. Because what makes this the most fun the most unique and arguably the most intense water side is that you'll begin this adventure by standing in a pod. Yeah, if you are awesome enough to take on this adventure and not the faint of heart, you will not begin by pushing yourself off, rather standing in the pod with your arms crossed, followed by that door underneath you. Yeah, the trap door dropping, leaving you plummeting out of nowhere through many twists and turns before coming out of the end where you go, whoa, that was intense. Thank you all for watching. Bye bye.